Barry J is looking at uh, LRN. Barry J, I have this one right here for you. I like this. I like this as a buy in stride. Your stop loss here would be if it breaks below 39.92, uh, but you have a lot of volume support here along with the point of control and your moving averages are also there for some support. So you guys know me on trade the close. I like to short on a green day. I like to buy on a red day when it's approaching these nice volume support and resistance levels. Steve, don't worry. I will stay out of the subway unless you're talking about sandwiches. Although I do like Jersey Mike's better than that. Hey, let's get to member 771. Ask me, Boz, if you have some time, can you do silver? Baby, I have all the time for you with a chart like this. All right, check this out. Silver, beautiful volume profile move. I love how it's in a thin zone. We took a nice note of support here. Silver's upside target is 1982. We're gonna find a little resistance there in 1982. I really like this chart set up for silver, bullish on silver. Also, my featured chart, let's just go back to Tesla. What a beautiful buy area yesterday. We called this one on the morning show as a potential buy here in Tesla after it. Went to the downside, found support right on the point of control. What do we like to find and trade the close? Thin zones to take advantage of. Also seeing that in TWM, which was a trade that we got into and out of and in back into uh, last week, and also in Amazon. And of course, you can find all of those setups and trade with us on Trade the Close to get into them. We're going to bring on Mark Sebastian. Mark, good morning. Good morning. How are you, Vaz? Good to see you. I'm glad glad your internet's working again. I know. I was, Thank uh, God. I, get, getting ready I, gave you, some... I was getting ready to jump in on volume profile by request myself. I was going <laughs> to pretend I well, knew what, what you, you were doing. You do have the volume profile on your charts, Mark. You know how important it is to match that up with big money flow. So no problem. Yes. I did it for you. Anything looking good out of LRN, SLV, and Tesla. All right. Well, SLV is an interesting one. You know, people keep waiting for this thing to break out, and it finally did uh, yesterday. Believe it or not, there is a VIX index for SLV, VX SLV. That is the VIX for silver options. Uh, and it came in right around, uh, let's see, where is SLV? It came in right around, uh, right around 31 yesterday. Uh, and vol is really high in SLV, which to me points toward the potential for some continued carry through. I don't know that it's ready for that permanent breakout. I think the dollar may have uh, may have an, one more fake out here, but I think short term, it, you're right. It could make a run at maybe twenty bucks, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, where 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 do you think it stops? Where 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 is kind of our next major resistance in SLV? Because I want to oh, structure the easy. trade. Oh, easy. That's an easy question. 20 bucks. 20 bucks on the nose? On All the right. nose. Good. All right. So let's do something really easy. Let's buy the 1920 call spread for about a, about a quarter and just ride that high and ride that higher pays out uh, three to one. You're betting 25 cents to make 75 cents. That's the October 14th. So next, not this Friday, but next Friday. We're going uh, to look at the 1920 call spread. Uh, I want to pay a quarter for that. Mark, you're so easy to trade with. That was awesome. Yeah. 